Well guys, welcome to another video. Today it's uh, going to be a presentation of something a bit different. And um, I have a kit here on uh, the board. It just arrived today while I was at work and uh, I came back to meet the box and uh, have just unpacked the whole thing. Well, some of you who recognize the name will already know what it is. And uh, it's a 3D printer. Now, uh, for those of you who know about uh, 3D printers, much probably much more than I, I do, I would like to say that I've kind of held myself away from this for a while. I've kind of like uh, always thought that the 3D printing technology is complicated and it's too fiddly and, and I didn't really have time for it. But... Um, a friend of mine, yes, shout out to Henrik, uh, convinced me in buying one and he dictated the model I should get and, uh, and, and, and the precise version and all that. And I just followed what he said. So, uh, Henrik, I'm going to be holding you on this one <laughs> if, if I can't install the damn thing. But um, it's a kit uh, made by Prusa and it's their Mark III. Uh, version, I think it's uh, the 3S Plus uh, one, the latest version they have, and uh, this kit is is a is a build it yourself kit, and uh, it should take between four to ten hours, depending on your dexterity to put it up. So this is just a start video where I introduce all the parts, and you can see uh, it comes with power supply, the axis, the print boards. A roll of filament, the manuals. Uh, this it says motor kit on it, and then these two I don't even know what they are. But uh, I quickly look. Aha! Uh -huh. It says fasteners, tools. Yeah. Well, I'd, uh, I'd I'd definitely not take you step by step in the build process, but I'd, I'd uh, show you uh, periodically uh, how I get through. And uh, the whole idea with this is that I can be able to print my own parts for my uh, RC hobby uh, and diorama uh, construction, uh, 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 trail, boating and uh, other things I, 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 I enjoy doing. Lamp posts for the, for the site, uh, uh, fuel cans for the trucks, ladders, you know, just practical things. Well, let's see how I get on. So, fast forward five hours work time, that's five hours later, I have succeeded in building the frame, the base, made sure it's balanced, I've made the x-axis, and uh, that's the stepper motor, I've also made the z-axis motor, and um, I've built the extruder uh, set, the hot end, uh, the cooling fans, the super pin die, all the stuff there, and uh, I think I'm getting closer. So um, I'm left to mount this here, uh, put one more belt so that all three axes are running, the X, the Y, and the Z axis. And then uh, I'd start with building the uh, uh, electronics and the, 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 the brain of the whole box, the control box, and then the power supply. And then there comes calibrating and then test testing. Well, I can suffice to say that uh, that's five hours. I'd rather be doing something else. But the positive thing about it is that uh, it's it's actually fun, and you do learn your to know to get to know your printer in a very personal way. So if anything goes wrong, you can all easily troubleshoot it or change out a part. So that's the only advantage I can see. Otherwise, there were some times where I just felt like, you know, I, why didn't I just buy a completely uh, assembled model? The instructions are really very easy to, to, to go through. Easy, but you have to pay attention to the small details because one little thing can really mess up the whole, the whole build. Well, um, I gotta go now. I still have to build and uh, see you in a bit.
so after 10 hours of building it's finally ready and uh, I'm testing it now I have already uh, done a few items with the printer I have a little calibration square I did to check when I finished uh, assembling it to test the calibration made myself a um, spatula to peel off stuff from the uh, print bed even though it's not necessary because it has the uh, the flexible print bed I printed this test whistle it's actually quite nice and it works uh, it was a quick print that uh, was in the already in the default files that followed I also um, made these small CCTV cameras for my uh, working site I'm going to print more of them and um, I tried printing some gas cans model gas cans and they came out, they also came out quite nice so well by and large I'm quite uh, satisfied so far I have some other colors of uh, filament this is the PLA filament I have uh, a couple of other colors I'm going to experiment with so um, I'm still in the experimenting uh, experimentation phase well so far so good and as you can see I'm just I've just started another project I'm printing a door so it's just laying down the foundation the first the layer before it starts uh, building the other layer so so far so good well that uh, ends the build uh, of my uh, Prusa Mark 3 uh, I think it's the S plus uh, version and um, I'm looking forward to printing some uh, cool items see you guys in the next video and if you enjoyed this video please thumbs up it helps with the YouTube uh, algorithm and um, leave a comment I would like to hear what you think bye